This video will show you a brand new lucid dreaming technique, which I have not explained before on the channel. I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to use it so that you can go to sleep right now and potentially have a lucid dream tonight. If you are trying to lucid dream and nothing is working for you, I definitely recommend using this technique. The awesome part about it is that it's good for anyone at any skill level and it's extremely effective. Anybody, even a complete beginner, can apply this before going to sleep to significantly increase the chances of having a lucid dream. Before we get straight into the tutorial, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. I want to help you master lucid dreaming so that you can do it every single night or at least whenever you want. And if that sounds awesome, then hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. Anyways, let's get started. So the new technique that I'm going to be teaching you today is called RILD, or W-R-I-L-D, which basically stands for Writing Induced Lucid Dreaming. If you've seen my video on MILD before, this technique is very similar to it, except it has one big fundamental change which causes it to work really well for a lot of people. Alright, so here are the steps. The first thing you need to do right before you go to bed is to get your hands on a pen and a piece of paper. If you really want, you can do this one to two hours before going to sleep instead, but I find the technique is way more effective the closer you do it to your bedtime. Okay, so for this to work properly, you need to use actual paper and not your phone. I'll explain why that is a little bit later in the video. Once you are sitting down with the piece of paper in front of you, you need to think of a short phrase and write it down. You can do something like, tonight I will become aware that I am dreaming, or tonight I will have a lucid dream. Whatever the case, try to pick something nice and simple, and make sure that it is not too long. Once you've decided on a phrase, like I said earlier, you need to write it down. Next, look at the phrase and repeat it in your head a few times. Now, you want to write it down again. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another All right, you get the point. So, as you may have noticed, repetition is the key part of this technique. By writing the phrase again and again and again, you are drilling it into your subconscious mind. The reason why this technique is so effective and why many people believe it to be even better than mild is because unlike simply repeating the phrase in your head, you are physically writing it down. And there is actual scientific proof that writing something by hand forces your brain to process the words in a more detailed way, which helps you successfully load that information into your memory where you can store it for later. This is why you can't just use your phone, because if you do, you won't experience the same benefits that come with writing something by hand. Try and write the phrase down about 50 to 100 times, filling up an entire sheet of paper. Now, that might sound like a lot, but as long as you chose something short and simple, it should only take around 10 to 20 minutes. The more time you spend doing this, the better. And eventually, you will reach a point where all you can think about is the phrase that you picked. Something extremely important to do along with writing down the words is believing in your mind that what you are writing down is true and that it will happen. Focus on feeling the power of what the words mean. This may feel strange or useless at first, but it will greatly increase the odds of the technique working. It's definitely worth it, especially if you really want to experience a lucid dream tonight. Once you are finished, place the piece of paper beside your bed and then go to sleep right away. <clears throat> if you want to have a better chance of lucid dreaming, you can combine this with other techniques as well. But if you do, just make sure that you go to sleep as soon as you can and that you don't get distracted. All right, so when you fall asleep, that is pretty much it for this technique. And now it's all up to chance. If you did a really great job at repeating the phrase, it will stick in your mind, and when you enter your next dream, you will likely keep repeating the phrase. In the dream, you will be repeating in your mind, tonight I will have a lucid dream, or whatever you decided to choose. And when you repeat this, it will cause you to become aware that you are dreaming, 
and from here, you will be in a lucid dream. Once you're in the lucid dream, however, there are some very important things that you need to do if you want to have the best experience possible. You may think that you can just jump straight into controlling anything you want, but the truth is, if you rush into things right away without doing a few steps, you might accidentally wake up. I have several videos going over exactly what you need to do as soon as you enter a lucid dream. And after this, I definitely recommend watching them so that you're prepared just in case this ends up working for you tonight. Something I love about this technique is that if it doesn't end up working for you, you can always do it the next night and adjust it a bit. If you wrote down the phrase, say 50 times, and you didn't end up having a lucid dream, you can always try again tomorrow, but instead, write it down 100 times. Of course, there is a limit to this. You shouldn't be spending more than an hour writing down the phrase, because at that point, you are just wasting your time. If you continue to try this and it doesn't work, make sure that you are practicing the foundations of lucid dreaming, like writing down your dreams and doing reality checks. Once again, I have videos on all these topics, so if you're new, definitely go ahead and watch them. A lot of people, including myself, have also had success trying this in the middle of the night. If you set an alarm for around 5 a.m., use the technique and then fall back asleep, you pretty much enter directly into a dream, which means that the phrase you just repeated will be fresh in your mind, and you will be more likely to think about it in the dream world. But that's about it for this technique. Try it tonight and let me know how it works down below in the comments. If you are new to lucid dreaming and would like to get into it, I have tons of videos on this channel which go over the most popular techniques for beginners. If you're not already, I highly recommend you subscribe so that you don't miss any videos. And as always, thanks for watching.